When two people are engaged in a debate, an interview, or any conversation in which an argument is being made, there's a chance that the following question will be asked. So you're saying? Insert rephrasing of the stated argument here, maybe, maybe not. Now, you might be wondering, isn't this really a rhetorical question? Good question. Not always. Sometimes, when somebody asks, so you're saying, they're only asking because they honestly want to make sure that they understand your argument. Other times, of course, the question is rhetorical. Maybe the person you're talking to didn't like the way in which you presented your argument. Perhaps they found it too wordy or tedious. Perhaps they think you're being a bit dishonest and they're trying to hold your feet to the fire. Or maybe they're just trying to make you look stupid. Regardless of any reasons why somebody would ask this question, Question, there is one answer that you'd probably be better off never giving, and that answer is yes. Yes is almost certain to be an incorrect answer, for multiple reasons. If the person asking the question screwed up your argument, constructing a straw man, whether on purpose or by accident, yes is obviously the incorrect answer. If the person asking this question described some of your argument accurately, but not your entire argument, then this is still definitely the wrong answer. And it's also worth keeping in mind that some people ask this question as a way of guessing what you're going to say next, or how you might be feeling in that moment. So you're saying you're angry about it? So you're saying we should therefore do this or do that about it? It's always wise to play it safe when somebody asks you questions like this to just not say yes. What should you say instead? Well, there are plenty of substitutes, many of which were exhibited on January 16th, 2018, during an interview on Channel 4 News. The host of this interview was journalist Kathy Newman, and her guest was Professor of psychology, Dr. Jordan Peterson. The entire interview lasted for nearly 30 minutes, but for now, we'll only study each instance in which this question, or any variation of this question, was asked. And just to make this whole thing a little sporty, let's keep score of each time Miss Newman either rephrases an argument or presumes something about Dr. Peterson. And let's also keep score of each time Dr. Peterson either corrects or contradicts her. Ready, set, go. So you say, I mean, that sounds pretty bad. You're saying it's there's a bad. crisis of masculinity. I mean, what do you do about it? Does it bother you that your audience is predominantly male? Does that, isn't, isn't that a bit divisive? No, I don't think so. I mean, it's no more divisive than the fact that YouTube is primarily male and Tumblr is primarily well, that's pretty divisive, female. Isn't well, it? Tumblr is primarily female. But you're just saying that's the way it is. Well, it's, I'm not saying anything. <clears throat> it's just an observation that that's the way it is. And so you're saying on. women have some sort of duty to sort of help fix the crisis of masculinity? Well, it depends on what they want. Mm -hmm. So, so if you want women domination... women want to dominate, is that what you're saying? No, mm -hmm. I'd say women who have had their relationships impaired with... impaired... their relationships with men impaired and who are afraid of such relationships will settle for a weak partner because they can dominate them. But it's a suboptimal solution. Right, so you've, you're saying you've done your research and women are unhappy dominating men. I didn't say they were unhappy dominating men. I you, said it was a bad long-term solution. But you're saying basically it doesn't matter if women aren't getting to the top because that's what's skewing that gender pay gap, isn't it? You're saying, well, that's just a fact of not life. Saying women it aren't doesn't necessarily matter. going to get to the top. No, I'm not saying it doesn't matter either. You're saying, I'm saying there are multiple life. reasons for it. Yeah, but those aren't reasons, being taken why, into why should women put up with those reasons? Why should, Why should women, women be content not to get I'm not, not saying that they should put up with it. So you were saying that by and large, women are too agreeable to get the pay rises they I'm, deserve. No, I'm saying that that's one component of a multivariate equation that predicts um, salary. It accounts for maybe 5% of the variance. The pay gap between men and women exists. But you're saying it's not because of gender, it's because women are too agreeable to ask for pay rises. So it's make one them, of the reasons. Okay, one of the reasons. Do you agree that you would be happy if that pay gap was eliminated completely? It because that's depend. all the radical feminists are saying. It would depend on how it was eradicated and how the how how the disappearance of it was measured. And you're saying if you it's at the cost of men, that's a problem. Oh, there's all sorts of things that it could be at the cost of. It could even be at the cost of women's own interests. Why shouldn't women have the right to choose not to have children or the right to choose they, those they, demanding careers? They do. They can. Yeah, that's fine. But you're saying that makes them unhappy, by and large. I'm saying that that, no, I'm not saying that. I'm, I, and I actually haven't said that so far. You're in the saying program. it makes them miserable. No, I said that what was making them miserable was having, part, was having weak partners. That makes them miserable. So you're saying women are just more sensible. They don't want that because it's not a nice life. Oh, I'm saying that's part of it, definitely. Mm -hmm. 
But if you leave men and women to make their own choices, you will not get equal outcomes. Right, so you're saying that anyone who believes in equality, whether you call them feminists, call them whatever you want to call them, should basically give up because it ain't gonna happen. Only if they're aiming at equality of outcome. <laughs> So you're saying give people equality of, of opportunity, that's fine? It's not only fine, it's eminently desirable for everyone, for individuals and for society. But still women aren't going to make it, that's what you're really it saying. It depends on your measurement techniques. They're doing just fine in medicine. So you don't believe it. in equal pay? <laughs> no, I'm not saying that at all. Because a lot of people listening to you will just say, I mean, are we going back to the dark That's because you're actually not listening. <laughs> that's because okay. you're actually not listening. They're I'm listening very carefully, and I'm think. hearing you basically saying women need to just accept they're never going to make it on equal terms, equal outcomes is what how you defined it. No, I didn't If say I was that. a young woman equal. watching that, I would go, well, I might as well just go and play with my Cindy dolls. I'd I give up trying that. at school because I'm not going to get the top job I want because there's someone e sitting there saying it's not possible, I it's said not that desirable, equal it's going to make you miserable. Aren't desirable. That's what I said. It's a, it's a yeah, bad it's social desirable. goal. I didn't say that women shouldn't be striving for the top or anything like that, because I don't believe that for a second. Striving for the top, but you're going to yeah. put all those hurdles in their way, as has been in their way for centuries, yeah. and that's fine. You're saying no, that's no. fine. No, no, I think I really the think The patriarchal system I really think is just that's fine. That's silly. I do. I think that's silly. I really do. The things that predict success in the workplace are intelligence and conscientiousness. Agreeableness negatively predicts success in the workplace. So and so does high that, negative emotion. You're saying that women aren't intelligent enough to run these top companies? No, I didn't say that at all. You said that uh, female traits don't predict success. But I didn't say that intelligence wasn't. I didn't say that do. intelligence and conscientiousness weren't female traits. Well, you were saying that intelligence and conscientiousness traits. by implication are not female traits. No, no. I mean, that's very that. I'm not saying that at all. Are women less There's... intelligent than men? No, large? no, they're not. No, the, the, the data on that's pretty clear. The average IQ for a woman and the average IQ for a man is identical. And it could be the case that if companies modified their behavior and became more feminine, that they would be successful. But you there's no evidence for it. I'm not neither doubtful nor non-doubtful. There's no evidence. So why not? A trans person in your class has come to your class and said they want to be called. And that's she. never happened and I would call them she. So you would? So you've kind of changed your tune on that? No, 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 I said that right from the beginning. You're right. saying someone who's trying to work out their gender identity, who may well have struggled with that, had quite a no tough time over the years. With it, yeah. You're comparing them with, you know, Chairman Mao, who no, just saw the, the death. You're saying that trans activists no. could lead to the deaths of millions of people. What no, I'm could... saying that the philosophy that drives their utterances is the same philosophy that already has driven us to the deaths of millions of people. You're just That's saying murderous... things, though, to provoke, aren't you? I mean, Not you a are bit. a provocateur. I never say anything. You're like anything. the alt right that you hate to be compared to. You um, want to stir things up. I'm only a provocateur insofar as when I say what I believe to be true, it's provocative. I don't provoke. Maybe for you humor. You don't set out now to and then. I'm not interested in provoking. But what, what about the thing about you know fighting and the lobster? Tell us about the lobster. <laughs> well, that's quite a segue. Let me just get this straight. You're saying that we should organize our societies along the lines of the lobsters. I'm saying that it's inevitable that there will be continuity in the way that animals and human beings organize, organize their structures. It's, it's it absolutely inevitable. So you're saying like the lobsters, we're hardwired as men and women to do certain things, to sort of run along tram lines, and there's nothing we can do about it. No, I'm not saying there's nothing we can do about it. It's a draw. Now that we've observed each instance of this question being asked, let's study the various ways in which this question can be answered. The most obvious way in which Dr. Peterson, or anyone else, could answer this type of question would be to simply say, no, I'm not saying that. I didn't say they were unhappy dominating men. No, I'm not saying there's nothing we can do about it. No, I'm not saying it doesn't matter either. No, I'm not saying that. I'm, I, and I actually haven't said that. Oh, no, please. I didn't say that at all. You said that. No, oh, no. I I'm mean, not that's saying very that. dangerous territory. I'm not saying that at all. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that at all. But it's not always that convenient. Hence, the answer cannot always be that simple. Sometimes, when somebody asks this question, they don't outright misrepresent your argument, they merely oversimplify it. In this case, you could answer by squawking, no, I'm not saying that, but that wouldn't be smart. The smart way to respond would be to answer the question with the context that your argument was taken out of. So you're saying rely on. women have some sort of duty to sort of help fix the crisis of masculinity? Well, it depends on what they want. But still, women aren't going to make it. That's what you're really it saying. It depends on your measurement techniques. They're doing just fine in medicine. So you're saying that anyone who believes in equality, whether you call them feminists, call them whatever you want to call them, 
should basically give up because it ain't going to happen. Only if they're aiming at equality of outcome. And then there are other times when the person who asks this question describes some of your argument, just a piece of it, but they don't describe your entire argument. You have to be careful when this happens because if your argument is X plus Y plus Z and somebody asks you, so you're saying X? Answering with a yes or a no could come back to bite you. If you say yes, you're potentially throwing the other two-thirds of your argument overboard. And if you say no, guess what's gonna happen next time you state your entire argument? If the person asking this question only described part of your argument, then say so. So you're saying women are just more sensible. They don't want that because it's not a nice life. Oh, I'm saying that's part of it, definitely. And you're These saying if it's you at the cost can't. of men, that's a problem. Oh, there's all sorts of things that it could be at the cost of. You're saying it's not because of gender, it's because women are too agreeable to ask for pay rises. So it's make one them... of the reasons. Okay, one of the reasons. You're saying I'm it's I'm saying a fact there are multiple life. reasons for it. So you're saying that by and large, women are too agreeable to get the pay rises they I'm, deserve. No, I'm saying that that's one component of a multivariate equation that predicts um, salary. It accounts for maybe 5% of the variance. Finally, there are those moments when the person who's asking the so you're saying question is not misrepresenting your argument. They're not selling your argument short. They're just making an argument up. Consider the instance when Peterson made a simple observation. YouTube is primarily male and Tumblr is primarily well, that's pretty divisive, female. Isn't well, it? But Tumblr is primarily female. But you're just saying that's the way it is. Well, it's... I'm not saying anything. It's just an observation that that's the way it is. Then there was the instance in which Newman presumed, based on who knows what, that Dr. Peterson was doubtful about a particular hypothesis when, in fact, he was not. And it could be the case that if companies modified their behavior and became more feminine, that they would be successful. But you there's no evidence for it. I'm not neither doubtful nor non-doubtful. There's no evidence so why not for it. Give it. And lastly, there was the instance in which Newman, again, based on who knows what, presumed that Dr. Peterson was trying to be provocative. A journalist on the air took another wild guess and was, yet again, incorrect. You're just That's saying murderous. things, though, to provoke, aren't you? I mean, not you a are bit. a provocateur. I never said You're like anything. the alt-right that you hate to be compared to. You um, want to stir things up. I'm only a provocateur insofar as when I say what I believe to be true, it's provocative. I don't provoke. Maybe for humor, you don't set out now and then, I'm not interested in provoking. It's important to keep all of this in mind because ultimately, this comes down to you. You have a responsibility to know what you're really saying. Just as you have a responsibility to keep your balance on a bicycle and a responsibility to have enough money to purchase the items you bring to the cash register. The moral of the story here is to say what you mean to say and to not say what you don't mean to say so that when somebody says that you said something that you didn't say, you'll know exactly what to say. Say what? Why should your right to freedom of speech trump a trans person's right not to be offended? Because in order to be able to think, you have to risk being offensive. I mean, look at the conversation we're having right now. But you're just saying, so you're saying, but you're saying, but you're saying, so you're saying, so you're saying, so you're saying I'm hearing you basically saying, you're saying, you're saying, you're saying, you're saying, you're saying, but you're saying. Why should you have the right to do that? I'm just, trying, I'm just trying to work that out. I mean... Ha, gotcha. You have got me, you have got me. I'm trying to work that through time. in my head. Yeah, yeah, it took a while, it took a while. It did, it did, yeah. It took a while.